So this is the A10 Warthog um, fighter plane. And I built this in less than five minutes of time and only 221 pieces from a classic kit. Let's go find out how I built it. Let's check it out. It's bonus day for aviation month. So what are we gonna build? I would like to build my favorite airplane, which is the A10 Thunderbolt Warhog plane. Uh, that's, that's one of my favorite airplanes. Uh, not sure how we're gonna build it though. So let's get five minutes on the clock. Let's go start. So the, the build of the airplane is pretty simple actually. Um, this is something like this. Well, the front has a big gun underneath it. And what we'll do is we'll just represent that with that. And then it's pretty square after that. <clears throat> and then let's see. <coughs> the wings are decently sized. They're back in the, in the plane, actually. A little further back than you would expect. And then we'll continue on. Purple for a jet airplane. Never would have thought I would do that, but that's what I'm doing. And the cockpit is very large. It sticks out at the top and on the bottom like that. Not liking the gun. Maybe if I add two teeth to the bottom, it'd probably help. Something like that. Then the hard part is the back of the plane. So the back of the plane is where the engines are located. Okay? And the engines are located in a way that they're two giant barrels. And if I do this correctly, it's gonna look something like that. And they come off the side of the airplane, but in our case, we're going to do something a little different and come off the tail wing here. Like that. Yes, that's got the right look to it. So now we just gotta build up from there, like that. So far, so good. And then, let's do that. And will these work back here? Will those work? Too tall? What else do I got? What else do I got? I got this. Well, that's upside down from what I need. Oh, come on. I gotta have something. Oh, here it is. Here it is. This is what I was looking for. And a little bit of this going on back here. Does that look like the Warhog? The engines look good. Do I need to be lower? Or do I need to put the wing up higher in the back? Yes, I do. That looks better. So the wing's gonna go up higher. Okay. So we can do, just add a little bit on the, on the bottom of there. There we go. That looks better. So now it looks like they're more attached to the fuselage of the plane itself. Okay, so can I make a correction here? Yes, I can. So I want to get the cockpit to me more at the same plane here. So I do that and that, that there and there, there. That looks better already. So I got one more minute left. Let's put some. Yeah, the cockpit actually sticks out even further. 
more front. What does that look like? Yes. Now it's got the right proportions. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on wheels. Oh, it won't it won't let me do that. And actually, they kind of like there's a lot of guns that stick down from the A10. So that actually is not that bad of a representation of it. Oh, it's coming off the wing. Maybe I'll just drag it. Yeah, no tail. Yeah, that looks better. More menacing. Um, okay, that's it for time. I would like to try one thing if you would let me. And I would like to try that. Yep, that's better. So you see how the gun sticks out like on the neck side. So I've placed that as a one by right there in the middle. Um, and that looks a lot better. Clear this away. So there is the A10 Warthog. What, what do they call it? Light tactical? I don't remember what the real classification of this um, airplane is, but it's one of my favorites. And it's been around forever. Um, I think it was designed in like the 70s or early 60s. I, I don't even remember, but it's been around forever and it's still in operation today, which means the design is, is true and the design is fantastic. So if you ever see an A-10 Warthog, maybe this looks like it, maybe it doesn't. Leave a comment down below if you like the A-10 and leave a comment if you think you could have built it a little bit better given the pieces that we have. And uh, also, Make sure to subscribe down below and uh, get the notifications for when we're releasing our videos. Typically, it's every uh, 7 a.m. So let's see what we're going to build tomorrow for Aviation Month. Go check it out. Well, that was a cool build. Now let's spin the wheel and see what we are going to build for tomorrow's 5-Minute Challenge. Each and every day we release a new video for 5 Minute Challenge at 7 a.m. Let's see what we get. So we got a seaplane. Oh, I like seaplanes. They land on the, on the water, take off. You could go across the ocean and not worry that you're going to crash in the water because you can land in the water. That's pretty cool. Let's go build a seaplane tomorrow. So make sure you tune in tomorrow or hit the notification to get notification. We release a new video every day at 7 a.m. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.